Now look, chat. I know what y'all really here for. Y'all here for that 2K news? <laughs> you here for the 2K news? Chat. Are you here for the W? W information? W? Are you here for it? Well, guess what? I'm here to tell you about it. Um, Honestly, chat, if I'm being real with you, I, I was on Twitter and people are just blowing this shit out of proportion. They are now having Twitter spaces arguing with each other, yelling one over the other. There's no like there's no balance to the Twitter spaces right now. The Twitter spaces sound like the streets. It sounds like a PlayStation party and a whole bunch of people are just trying to just yell over each other. Um, every every YouTube channel or social media account is saying that we got more 2K25 gameplay and we have some things that other people haven't seen and they're comparing dribble moves that are 3.7 seconds long compared to other dribble moves that are 3.7 seconds long. And I just, it's a lot. It's a lot. But we're going to go over everything today. We're going to go over everything today, man. So, so look, this is what we're going to do. We're going we gonna to watch the court side report right now, y'all. As promised, that EA Sports College Football 25 tournament is finally here. Yes, we have a $1,000 prize pool on the line. Registration is only open until August 24th, so I need you guys to make sure that you sign up with the link, or you can go ahead and go to arrivalx.com slash okplayergo. Since this is a two-day event, the prelims will be held on Saturday, and I myself will be hosting the finals on Sunday, August 25th. So this is what I need you to do. Make sure that you tap in with okplayergo on IG, Make sure that you follow them on Twitch as well. And don't forget to follow me on Twitch because guess what? We will have a pre-watch party before the stream. All y'all that have been talking, all that smack about EA Sports College Football 25, I better see your name in the sign-up sheet. A $1,000 on the line. I don't want to hear no rap from y'all. Y'all know what time it is, man. Make sure you got a fresh controller because I don't want to hear no complaints, no, oh, I stick drift, none of that. Make sure you plugged in on that USB-C or whatever and make sure you gaming on that monitor. Listen, if you on the TV and you miss a pass because of that, that ain't on me. That's on you. Come get this money, yo. Let's go ahead and play this, uh, the W course I report. Literally the best name in the game for any mode, the W. Welcome back to another NBA 2K25 Courtside Report. Today, we will be diving into what's new in the W. I'm your host, Alexis Morgan, and with me today is Felicia Steenhouse, the senior producer on the W in NBA 2K25. Welcome, Felicia. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to talk the W with you. I'm excited to talk about the W as well. Let's talk about the W NBA season that's still going on right now. So many great games, so many good teams right now. Yeah, it's been fantastic. I mean, Asia, Stewie, and even Nafisa Kali are coming up this year. The level of competition has just been outrageous. The rookies and what they've been doing, it's just every night is an exciting battle. Okay. Coming to go. Last What's this year about? introduced in Pursuit of Greatness, and there you were going against one legend, but this year you're going against 23 of the greatest of all time. You're going to play through your career. Hey, Chad, I'm not going to lie. Anybody, anybody seen... The uh, Angel Reese uh, screenshot on Twitter. 2K got it right, bro. 2K got it right. That's that's all I'm going to say. They got it the fuck right. I don't know if she came and dialed up like that for that scan. But I'm going to tell you right now, bro. They got Angel Reese down. Down. You hear me? Oops. Hold up. Okay. And you're going to watch yourself rise and pass each of those legends to become the greatest of all time. And obviously, the greatest of all time is the end goal, but how does one start their journey? Exactly. After you create your player, the first thing that you're going to need to do is separate yourself from this amazing rookie class. There's going to be a... Oh, you can... St hold on, chat. You can start... You can start off... Oh, so this is something like how uh, EA Sports College Football is. Yeah, uh, you know how like you you know the one star, two star, three star, four star, five star. You can start off as a prospect or an undiscovered gem. Okay, okay. Um, you took women's college basketball by storm. Um, despite being a top college prospect, you went undrafted and played overseas. 
okay, so you even have some uh, overseas experience with the 85 overall, but in the 75 overall, you was the number one draft pick, but you was an MVP from overseas on the Undiscovered Gym, okay? What you need to do is separate yourself from this amazing rookie class. There's gonna be a heated race to rookie of the year. Hey, Chad, you, you, yo, you, you peep how 2K love that pullback jumper? That, 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 that pullback jumper, like, I know y'all peeped it. Amazing rookie I know y'all peeped it. There's gonna be a they love this John. Heated race. 2K gonna keep showing that John six times, bro. They gonna keep showing that John six times, bro. To rookie of the year. And you're gonna need to battle your way there. New this year are press conferences. And for the first time. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. Is it just me? Or do this mob player not look comfortable? They look like this is a little bit too much here. They're overwhelmed. Ever, your WNBA My Player is gonna have a voice. After a pivotal loss, you might be reflecting and trying to build up your teammates or an amazing performance. You might be reaching out to fans. There's a ton of new content here that people are gonna love. Hey, yo, I really wanna know who did the um, the W voiceover for MP, or is, is it considered, uh, is she still called MP or? Is the the W different from my career? Like what is what is the female my player version called? Is it FMP? Who knows? I am I'm trying to get flued out by a WNBA player on Jesus left sandal. WMP? Mmm. So excited. All right, the buzz progression for the additions to the W online this year. To start, we have Chad. I heard that they they built this. They, listen, listen. This is all jokes. They got women in the middle of the forest playing basketball, tall trees and all. They don't know who out there: bears, lions, tigers. Like they just they just out there. Where's the muskets? Where's the, you know what I'm saying? Like, where's the protection? Like, you know what I'm saying? Are they strapped? Are they ready for this? They got to survive out here all year. Well, maybe, maybe first season, you never know. Have a brand new environment. When you go into play three on three, you're going to be surrounded by giant redwoods. The environment is just alive and unlike anything you're going to find elsewhere in the game. And if you're familiar with the W Online, you know we like to do things different there. Uh, so people are really gonna like this new environment. But if you're new, this mode is all about the community. It's about reaching a greatness that you can only get when you do it together. So every week there's a stat goal for the community to hit. And if you can hit four out of the six weeks, everybody gets rewards. And your rewards scale based on how much you contribute to that, hitting that goal. And every week along the way, you come back because there's amazing weekly rewards that you're gonna get for hitting stat goals. Is the men gonna get that too? The men would love to know if we're gonna get that too. I would love to 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 get rewards every week and not do much. Thanks. Just saying. Oh, no. Everybody gets rewards. And your rewards scale based on how much you contribute to that, hitting that goal. And every week along the way, you come back because there's amazing weekly rewards that you're going to get for hitting stat goals. What are some of the other ways this community is contributing in NBA 2K25? From last year, we're bringing forward the Game Changers feature. So as you're contributing, if you're really putting in a lot of work and you're really contributing to the community, you're gonna get the Game Changer status. And Game Changer status, just like last year, you're gonna get exclusive in-game boosts and all kinds of rewards that are really gonna not only enhance your experience in the W, but all of your teammates as well. But this year, we've also added a mentorship feature. So if you're a Game Changer, you're gonna come in and have an opportunity to mentor a newer player coming in. So you're gonna give them a stat challenge and a boost to help them hit that. 
And if they hit that challenge, not only are they increasing their contribution to the community, but you're going to get a boost to your contribution as well, which is really going to help you reach those top tier rewards faster every season. Well, I love that it's all about community and I can't wait to join the community as well. Thank you so much for joining us today. And that's it for today's Courtside Report on the W and NBA 2K25. It's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. And thank you all to the game changers out there for making 2K24 so amazing. I cannot wait to get out in the Redwood Grove with you. We definitely can't wait and stick back here for more NBA 2K25 Courtside Reports. Okay, chat. So the biggest thing that I took from the W... Uh reveal is the redwood grove which is the new court court for online um there was no discussion about bringing females to the male side of the my career online experience um it looks like the w is still gonna have its own thing going on and uh, it looks like they're into building community a lot more than we are um i feel like we're so divided as far as like community goes like we're we're, we're stuck in rivalships or whatever the case may be, but if that's even a word, but I feel like the W is just more, you know, hey, this is what we have. This is what we, we go for. These are our rewards. These are what can we, what we can earn. And we have to do it together because I don't think that they get a season pass like how the my career side gets a season pass. That's what it's looking like to me. It's looking like the W is secluded off and, and doing its own thing and, and building on its own uh, apart from anything that the regular my career and all of that has to entail so that's actually i would say that's a w for building building the community together um but i want to read some stuff um so let's see there was there was actually something that a lot of people wanted me to see i guess i must have missed it so i guess we're gonna have to run the, the uh, course i report back and i guess we're gonna have to run it back in like 0.5 or something like that maybe yeah, let's, look, let's look let's look at some of this gameplay bro because because you go you, you know what i'm saying you know how the game go bro you know what i'm saying so let's look at some of this gameplay bro all right so a nice little screen it looked like the scoopies it, well, no, that's not a scoop. That's a lay. It looked like it looked like she's so small that the ball kind of got shot put it up in the air. Is that just me? Like her release point is super low, but it look it look good. It's probably because it's just slow. Cause I slowed the gameplay down. All right. It looks like it looked like um they still got celebrations in the game too. Where you can celebrate with your uh, teammate. Ooh. Hold up. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. Hey, chat, that motherfucking hair flowing though. I don't, I don't know if it's just me, bro. That shit, that shit is like that shit flowy as shit. Hey, chat, they still got the, they still got that, that uh. Leave your hand in the air while the while the ball is is in the air, and you just like yeah, like you know what I'm saying. Like I wonder if you, you could branch out of that and follow your shot. They they still got that in the game. That's the rest of that's it. That's it. That's all we get. All right, that's all. That's all that we got from that. All right, let me see. Now, this was this was a move that a lot of people had seen online. I think they must have uploaded it to the internet. So let's go to Twitter and see if we can find it. Cause um, I've seen it on so many different people's pages. I'm not gonna lie, bro. They got they got these fucking face scans down, bro. I'm not gonna lie. These motherfuckers is whatever whatever new DSLR cameras they got or or whatever. Now these hoes look crazy. 
I ain't gonna lie. Like, and and when I say these hoes, I'm talking about the pictures in general, not the women themselves, bro. Because I know how how weird y'all get. You know I'm saying y'all get really weird. All right, let me see. All right, so let me do this. NBA 2K. Let me go to NBA 2K Lab. Uh, yeah. All right, so chat. Um, this was two hours ago. Damn, they just. All right, there we go. All right, so look, they posted a video already showcasing the new moves. Well, not new moves, but the new um, the new pro play technology in the foot planting. Now, of course, you might not think that that's a lot, but when you generally think about it, 2K has, when they first started off like with their game, like foot planting wasn't like too crazy, but like by the time 2K3 came out, like we start seeing like better movement coming from the, like the generational consoles that we had back then, right? But like to see the upgrade from one year to the next, obviously they're trying their best with using the next gen technology to make things a little bit better. Also, one thing that I can say though, the ball looks a lot bigger. I don't know if it if it looked beach ball-y to me, but that ball looks big as fuck. I don't know if they made the the players too small and didn't didn't reevaluate how big the ball is, but for whatever reason, it looks like a beach ball to me. But I will say the foot planting looks really, really good. Now I'm I don't know if it's because of the Jordan Elevens or or whatever, but bruh, the, the foot plant look a lot better. And maybe it's because no, it ain't because they slowed it down. It just it just looks smoother. It's not many hiccups in it. You know what I'm saying? Like you can tell the hiccups in the NBA 2K24 because basically after the initial speed boost, you know, there's always been some little hitch that it's like, I guess the game is trying to figure out what's the next move you're going to do where it looked like in NBA 2K25, you could just keep moving, you know what I'm saying, if you wanted to when you burst out of it. So it looked kind of cool. Uh, Pro 2 dribble. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. But also, it was something else. I don't know. Let me see. Uh, was it? Oh, oh, is this it? Okay, so. I already took that screenshot. All right, so here's here's that here's that jumper I was telling y'all about, y'all. That that pullback dribble, like literally. In all the W gameplay that we've seen so far, this is like a huge, like part of oh showcasing the the rhythm dribbling and the rhythm shooting. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like this is this is it. Like, I wonder if they really you know what I'm saying. And plus, you want to know what I also want to know? Who was playing this right here because they're playing without the shot meter, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, and it looks like, and of course, it's supposed to be online, so. I don't know if like this is a simulation of it with like AIs or is this like all like six different people with a controller playing this. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that's one thing I want to know because I'm gonna be real with you. The sliding that I see this woman doing on defense, it's not it's not giving defense has gotten a, a crazy buff for you know what I'm saying defense is looking better the foot planting the getting back on deep it's not it's not showing me that defense got the look that it deserves here yeah you know i'm saying like i'm i'm just being honest what i see is like the the players trying to compensate for taking that speed boost but like after the speed boost they they must have tapped l2 because it made them face up but like they backed up and like the the turn to get back in front of the player is super delayed here. You know what I'm saying? That's that's the one thing that I see from it. Offensively, I already know. The offensive player knew what they wanted to do from the beginning, but it looked like defensively, like, I don't know if it's like a risk or reward or whatever, but she isn't able to get back. And her hand up from what, from the foul line, putting your hand up at the foul line means that whoever is guarding that either flicked up the right stick or the AI decided, like, 
that's the best course of action that I can do in that scenario. Maybe the maybe the defender has has low perimeter. I don't know, but it's not it's not it's not a uh, it's not showing me that defense got that buff it needs. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's the design of the ball. That's why it looks like that. Um, plus their hands are a lot smaller. Man, that joint look. Man, that ball look big as shit. What you mean? A woman's basketball is smaller than a men's basketball. That basketball looks big as shit. I don't care what nobody says. That basketball looks huge. <laughs> like, it, like that basketball look big as motherfucker, bro. I ain't even gonna lie, bro. It look big as a motherfucker, bro. Um. Hey, yo, uh, Brain Dev, what's up with the drops? What's up with the drops? All right, so that's really it, chat. That's 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 really it. That's that's all that I have about NBA 2K25 today. Um, honestly, the W announcement to me, uh, I guess it's a W for their community. Um, I know that I'm not a part of their community. Um. I did not play the W when it dropped. I haven't played it at all. I never made a female my player. Um, I guess I don't have that fantasy. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't, I don't have a fantasy of creating a female my player and taking her to becoming one of the greatest female uh, WNBA players ever on a video game. Like I, I don't have that. You know what I mean? But. I guess it's a W. I know I know I watched train them videos and stuff like that. So like I saw the gameplay, but I never touched it myself. It's kind of crazy. I'm not gonna lie. I never touched it myself though. But you know what I'm saying? It's up to you. Oh, I do want to have a discussion. Put this out of the chat in the comment section. If you think female my players from the W, those creations should be ported over to my career so that they can play in a park, the wreck the theater, the stage, do you think that female my players should be online and regular my career? Let me know about that. I, because there's been so much hate towards women that it, it kind of drives me a little bit insane. Still saying that in this day and age, but it seemed like dudes can't get over the fact that women play basketball. It's, it's, un, it's unreal. Like they've been doing this shit they have goats. They have Hall of Famers. Like, I don't understand, like, why people don't realize, like, bro, women play basketball, bro. Women do the same shit we do, bro. Like, it's just, it is what it is. They do the same shit we do. You know what I'm saying? So, like, come on. What we doing? But, you know, that's just that. Just, you know, put that in the comment section. And um, maybe we'll talk about that later. King Kong. King Kong. King Kong. King Kong, King Kong, King Kong, I'm King Kong, King Kong.